Hi everybody, it's Jen from Mindful Moms Network. I'm so glad you're here today because we're talking about something essential to mothering and essential to mindfulness, and it is the fine art of letting go. Now I know when it pertains to mothering, this is one of the hardest things for moms to do because we love our kids so darn much that our instinct is to protect them, is to you know hold on to them so tightly. We, we feel in our hearts like that's what you do, a good mom never has to say goodbye. A good mom is always there. A good mom, you know, um, you know, just holds on to her children tightly. And in fact, that can be quite um, contradictory in terms of um, allowing our kids a space to grow and express themselves and to become the, the individuals that they're meant to be. And so letting go is essential to motherhood. It's uh, since the moment that umbilical cord is cut, it's a fine art of letting go. It doesn't matter if you're letting go in terms of, you know, you're dropping your child off the first day of preschool or if you're dropping them off at college or they're moving out of the house for the very first time. Um, all moms go through this letting go of control, letting go of expectations. And so I'm talking about this today because I'm sitting here in downtown Minneapolis in my husband's temporary apartment. He got a new job in the city. Um, we're from Michigan, so this is a big move for us. And so um, we are out, my husband and I are out here doing some house hunting for the week, which means our girls are back home for a week um, with their grandparents. So I am learning the lesson of letting go and not being there for them because this is the very first time in four years that I've gone this far away for this long amount of time without them. And it is by far bringing up some issues that I need to explore. So, but it's good. This is what mindfulness is. It's mindfulness is never perfected, but mindfulness is your ability to see and become aware of your thinking and where you tend to get caught and what you tend to get attached to. I truly believe in this trip is helping me see my unhealthy attachment to um, my control with my kids in that I tended to think that love meant never having to say goodbye. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm always with my girls. I, you know, tended to think that that's how, that's like real love, like when you're always with your kids and, and you don't have to say goodbye and you don't have to feel the guilt that tends to accompany with that because I, I have this guilt for leaving for this long. Are they going to be okay? Am I going to be okay? Um, and so that's important. This is an important lesson for me to be going through. And so I noticed two hours into the trip, so we left the girls in Michigan. We were two hours away. It's a 10-hour trip. I started having this little mini panic attack in my head. All of these visions, awful visions, you know, of girls on a play structure too big for them falling down or at the beach tiptoeing near the water and getting sucked into the lake. You know, you know how that goes? When your kids aren't with you, like that's what your mind habitually does is it goes to the dark side and it brings up all of these negative fears and emotions. Well, ladies, it's just, that's fear. And that's what mindfulness helps us become aware of. When I became aware of how awful I was feeling, my practice has taught me to stop myself and accept whatever I'm resisting. So in that moment, I chose to accept my powerlessness. I literally chose to just be like, Jen, you're gone for a week. What are you going to do? You know, acceptance means non-judgment. So in my, when I accepted my powerlessness, it meant that I wasn't judging, you know, being away as good or bad. It just, it was what it was. And here's the thing, ladies, when you do this, whenever you have to let go of anything as it pertains to your kids, remember this, when you accept your powerlessness, that you then, this fundamental shift happens in your heart and your head. And you go from fear to faith. That's the, that's the amazing thing of acceptance, is your perspective and your outlook changes. Um, and that's mindful mothering. Mindless mothering is when you get all caught in that negativity and you can't see your way out of it. Mindful mothering is calling it for what it is and choosing a deeper perspective and a, a, different, a deeper sense of faith. So at that moment when I saw that negativity, I, I then replaced it with positive images. I replaced it with, you know what, this is a great opportunity for my girls, for their ages, they're four and the twins are three, they're little beings that when they're not with me, they are growing their individuality. They are relying on themselves and that is so key to their identity. I want to raise strong women, strong little girls 
they need to be away from me so that they can rely on themselves. Also, um, what an amazing bond that was being forged between the grandparents and my, my children. Like that can't happen um, to the depth that I think it can happen when I'm not there. Also, what an amazing opportunity for my husband and I to reconnect. Um, what an amazing opportunity for me to just get some space and some distance from the craziness of motherhood. Not my children, I love my children deeply, but you know, I need some space from the crying, the whining, the, the constant you know, running here and there. And so it's good, for, it's good for everybody. So when I accepted my powerlessness, what happened was I accepted the present moment and I didn't judge it. And when you, whenever you do that, then what happens is you emanate love and faith. You have faith in yourself um, you have faith that, you know, yeah, if something awful happened, which I'm not focusing on, but here's the deal. If it does, I have faith in myself that at that moment, I'll handle it. Um, let it go. You know, let that thought go. You have faith in your kids. You instill faith in, your, in the caregiver. When you instill faith in, in people and things in your life, you infuse it with love and appreciation. And only good mothering comes from that place. And so that's the tip for today. Accept your powerlessness. And once you do that, choose faith over fear. But practice it often because the negativity is going to continually arise. And every time that negative thought comes up, just let it go and replace it with a thought of faith. Mothering in the moment sometimes means mothering in the moments when your kids aren't there. And that means knowing that in your absence, you are allowing them space to grow and develop senses and their capacity to love themselves and the other people that they're with um, in a way that couldn't happen when you're there. So it's all good. So thanks for joining us today. Um, I hope you practice the art of letting go continually every day. Um, it may bring you deeper joy and love for your children, yourself, and the present moment. Thank you.